What's up guys, I'm John and you're watching Johnny Fabs and today we're going to be pulling the Civic out. Uh, it's a nice day out and we need to use the hoist and uh, so we figured we'd pull it out. I know a lot of you guys have been commenting uh, on the update on it so we're going to go ahead and pull it out. We're going to lower the lift down and uh, we already got it cleared out underneath and pull it out and uh, see what it looks like after all winter sitting up there. Should be fine, had the cover on it. But we might do a quick uh, video, maybe drive it around if everything checks out. But we're going to lower it down and get the cover off. Alright guys, so I went ahead and washed the car, uh, power washed the whole outside and then the engine bay and then the interior. I actually blasted the door panels and the side pieces uh, with power washer real quick and then I wiped everything down. And then in the inside I took the uh, back seat out and the carpet out and uh, it's drying right now because it got wet and then I just wiped everything down. Um, but we noticed... Uh, last year before we uh, put it away that it had a major exhaust leak and you guys can see um, if I move the turbo it's, it's like the flange and the merge is broken so we're gonna have to fix that um, pull the turbo off and re-weld the manifold uh, so we're gonna take everything off and see what we got going on uh, between here and the manifold It is, it is broke off, look at that, yeah it broke right at the merge in the flange, so when I initially built this manifold I bought this uh, 4 to 1 uh, merge for a T3 and it was already welded and then the merge was welded and it looked like it just cracked right there, so not that big a deal, we'll just uh, clean all this up and pull the manifold and weld it. Hopefully it'll hold up. So we'll uh, pull this off. You can see right here where the merge is and that weld just broke. So we'll get everything pulled off and cleaned up and we'll get it welded back on. Should be good to go. So I got the manifold off and the uh, turbo's right there and you can see on both where it just broke right off, clean off. But the rest of the manifold looks good. This is the one I made uh, last year. You guys can see it's holding up pretty good. Uh, it's not coated or anything and the turbo uh, water lines actually were causing issues leaking. So that's why there's some rust 
because this is mild steel, the rest is stainless. But we're going to go ahead and clean this up and uh, unbolt that from the turbo, the flange, and get to welding. I started cleaning so I started cleaning the flange up getting all that weld off and you can see on this verge where they didn't get full penetration Alright, so I went ahead and got it tacked on, this merge uh, tacked on to the uh, flange and I had the turbo on there uh, bolted on because before um, the turbo, this is a bigger GT3582, uh, uh, before I had a GT30 and uh, that's what I built this manifold with. Um, so that one was a little bit bigger and the compressor was hitting this first runner. And so I had to uh, twist the turbo uh, when I initially put that turbo on there. So I clocked this just a little bit um, to compensate for the bigger turbo. So that way there's more room. And I think that stress uh, is what uh, actually caused this flange to crack. So hopefully that cures our problem. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fully weld it. I might keep that... Uh, turbo bolted to it as much as I can to keep this flange from warping but it should be fine it's pretty thick but yeah and I'm using a 309 rod because this is mild steel and then this is stainless steel so to uh, mate those up uh, 309 if it was stainless is stainless I'd use 308 but yep so I'm gonna go ahead and tack it some more and keep welding So I got the flange welded up 100% uh, all the way around and I went ahead and welded the inside too. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this back on with a new gasket and then we'll get the turbo bolted on. Alright guys, so I got the turbo manifold uh, bolted up and I went ahead and uh, used our uh, sander and flattened this out and the head flange. Uh, so I'm getting ready to bolt the turbo on with the gasket and uh, yeah.
All right, guys, so it is now the next day, um, a little later on, and uh, I did wrap up the Civic. Uh, I think we left off where I was bolting the turbo on. Um, so I have the car outside. You guys can see it's a nice day here in Michigan. So it's nice to get the car out. But uh, yeah, we'll open up the hood and show you guys the finished product. Get this. So here you go. Uh, I already went and took it for a test drive down the road uh, and got some fresh fuel for the year. Um, so yeah, everything checked out okay. There was no boost leaks, uh, no exhaust leaks. So I think it's gonna hold up good. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video on getting the Civic out. Um, I know you guys been looking for videos on the Civic. So here's a little update on it and a little refresh. So uh, should be good for the year. Um, so stay tuned for more. And uh, yeah, hit that like button. Please share it. And comment what you think. Peace.